Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and I put this team together that can set up late game Megira sweeps quite easily. Basically, the idea is we have coverage for the prevalent steals and Thunderbolt and Focus Blast, so what I want to do is pressure Chansey, which is the other Pokemon that really annoys Megira, and all of our physical attackers are able to do that. Urshifu with the Choice Band, Excadrill with SD plus Earthquake, and SD Talonflame as well. The reason I opted for Talonflame, which is a really weird pick, is because Priority Defog is really good if I can't sweep with Megirna or Drill. Say for instance I have to use Urshifu to break through or just late game Dragapult, that Defog can get rid of a Toxic Spike in case they have a Ghost type to block my Rapid Spin, and that can give me the opening I need right here. My own rocker is Hippo, Dragapult is Scarf, and basically gets the momentum on Chansey. They switch it in, we get a U-turn into any of the physical attackers, and we can do some work. So that's the whole concept right here. I'm hoping it can do well. Let's go ahead and get a game. So I have a game right here. Infiltrator Dragapult is going to be very important against their screens mons, but I think it's also the only Pokemon that can take a hit from plus six Azu, so I have to keep that in mind. I do have my priority Brave Bird though, so if I have to use that, I will. Let's go ahead and lead off with... Hippo covers both the Drill and the Grim Snarl. I think Terrakion might be a bit more offensive. Their Urshifu is the normal one. So right here, I can just Earthquake. Like, they don't have a Grand Immunity on their team. They're gonna go ahead and do that. And I guess they're just Earth gonna Earthquake here. I can just Earthquake them as well. And see what they want to do. If they go Azu, I'm just gonna Whirlwind it, I think. They go right to Grim Snarl. I'm assuming this is going to click Taunt first, right? So let's go for Earthquake here. There's no way they let me get up Hazards, yeah. And like I said, though, the sooner I get rid of this mod, the sooner Dragapult can have fun. So now I think what I want to do is Earthquake again. If I knock them out right here, Taunt ends and I can Whirlwind whatever comes in, right? Yep, okay, good. So they actually can't set up with anybody in front of the mod I have right now. So that's really nice. Like, if they go Azu here and try to, or, like, Belly Drum, I'm just going to phase it out. So, I guess their best place would be to go to Magirna and immediately Flare Cannon. If this is, like, Shift Gear Weakness Policy, I don't want it to sweep me with that. So, let's go ahead and get it out of there. And against this mine, I'm just going to get a Brox. I don't think I'm scared of it. Like, I think that's very free. He's just trying to set up with everybody, but this doesn't do damage. Never mind, it did damage. Okay, but I got my rocks up and I have both of the leads essentially dead. I think we're in a really strong spot here. Yeah, I'm never gonna earthquake that thing though, like come on. I really don't want weakness policy going off and me just losing the game to that. I guess he doesn't have waterfall, he might be knockoff player off. That's the set that I ran. Okay, so it was belly drum, we got rid of the citrus. This was a really interesting exchange, but I think all I have to do here is go out into... I don't want to use a Dragapult just yet. I think it's actually decent in the end against a lot of what he has. I'm assuming that has Sucker Punch though, right? So that can take me out. Drill I don't think will live. I'm thinking about going Magirna and clicking Flare Cannon. And then if he goes Magirna of his own after, I can get in my Drill. Hmm... So what do I want to do here? Like, I wish I had more coverage on Urshifu. I guess I'll just go Megirna and attack, right? That's my best play. Thunderbolt is actually not stronger, but if it does kill, I want to click it. So how much is Anazu taking from this? 76 on no HP. He is at 74. I'm going to bank on that killing. And I guess that's why you don't bank on it killing, but he made the wrong play anyway. <laughs> what? Okay, so I get a Soul Heart boost. I actually should have shift geared right there. That was my bad. Yeah, I think I would have won if I just clicked shift gear right then and there. The problem is this can't set up on me, so like I don't get his plan. Okay, I think he's banded. No, he's life orb. We saw that. Uh, let's not get careless. So if he has sucker punch, I don't want to risk a dragapult here. I think the best way to do this is definitely keep the gale wings. I don't have to. In fact, if I went out into it right here, I might just win with it, but I don't want to use it just yet, I don't think. But the problem is, like, I think I kind of have to. Yeah, I don't have another play here. Let's go ahead and bring it out, go right for the Brave Bird. Knock him out, and then I think it comes down to maybe how my Dragapult plays out, because I can Brave Bird here again. I don't know if he's going to Rock Polish. He does try to Rock Polish, but I don't think I can lose to Rock Polish. 
He's gonna go for Stone Edge, makes sense. This should outspeed my Dragapult, but I don't think I'd die to Stone Edge even after, like, anything. Because he's not Life Orb, right? So I think even if he's, like, that Rock Plate... Let's just check the Calc. I mean, I don't think I have another player right here. I think I have to go to Dragapult. Dude, why did he try to, um... That's Life Orb. I was gonna say, why is that doing so much? So, yeah. I can live any sort of hit from this, I think. I don't think it gets any new moves that'll knock me out. And then, basically, what I need to do is... Shadow Ball here. I don't think Magirna can beat me because what's going to happen is even if it tries to shift gear, I get to hit it twice and then it shouldn't be able to Oko Drill. So there's that. I also have the Sucker Punch. That's the thing. Oh, I tried to calm. <laughs> yeah, that definitely wasn't the play. I guess he didn't have Focus Blast, but yeah, that's going to be it. Scarf Dragapult's too strong. I knew I just had to get rid of Grimmsnarl in this would win, but he made some really weird plays. I'll be right back. So we have another game right here. This team is a bit more annoying. We see another Azu, which... Azu is such a threat because my Dragapult is my only check unless I can get it in range of a Sucker Punch, but... At least there's no screens this time, so if I can keep that Gale Wings intact, I can still beat it. I really want to get a Magirna Sweep, but this guy has a Lolan Marowak, which I need out of the way before that's... I can even think of making that happen. So let's go ahead and lead off with... Something that does well against Hydreigon. I think Dragapult basically covers everything he can do. Like, he's checking the data on my Shifu. I guess maybe he's used to the other one. I have no idea. But what I want to do is U-turn on Tank if that leads. Find out whether it's Helmet. Because if it is Helmet, that makes Drill... I don't know why I'm even thinking about Drill right here. Drill isn't doing anything in this game. But yeah, I figured he would do this because it pressures my Rocker and whatnot. So now what I can do is just click Draco, I want to say. I could also U-turn. I don't have the best switch-ins, like I don't want to use Magirna really on, but... I think he will go Corviknight, so let's just U-turn. He actually goes hard into Azumarill, okay. Interesting one, I didn't think he would do that immediately. I guess what I can do is go Magirna and see what his initial play is, like... No, because then I have to predict. If he goes Corviknight, I don't want to Flare Cannon and give him a free U-turn. But I also don't want to give Marowak the free attack, so... I think this is the best play, even though I'm weak to his Water Stab. Like, I get a bit of chip on Azu, and I can get my rocks up here and ideally hit the Marowak if it's not Heavy Duty Boots, which... It should be Thick Club, right? That, that would make sense. And then let's phase him out to make sure he can't defog. We actually got Azu back in, which is really nice. Yeah, dude, you're not defogging. I don't know what to tell you, like... There goes the Citrus. I'm gonna outplay this, though. Yeah, he goes for Jet that time, and now I can Whirlwind again. <laughs> or I double. Is there a double that catches both the Corviknight and the Azu staying in? I don't think so. Like, there isn't really a good mid-ground. Out comes Tang. There is a good mid-ground for this, though. It's called Talonflame. I just don't really want to... get put to sleep, or... I'll lose my Gale Wings, for that matter. So I think... Sleep out is a problem, huh? I think I'm just gonna let Drill go to sleep, like, what is it doing here? And then I think we're gonna double towards Shifu on the Corviknight to try to make sure that it can't do the thing. So he goes for knockoff. Ah, that sucks. I thought he would try to defog there. Mm, that's such a pain, because now I don't know how much I'm doing. I'm gonna go for a Wicked Blow. I'm doing a bit. And then I have to U-turn here. Okay, well, good knockoff. I, I really didn't want him defogging, though. I hope it makes sense, because if I want any chance of beating Marowak, I have to... Yeah, it is Helmet, obviously. I have to get it in range of Magirna. So I think the play here is to go... He's just gonna knock off again, right? Yeah, let's just give him that, and then go back to Shifu, I guess. I don't know, this is annoying, because he's just gonna leech sheet here, right? Yeah, and I can't do anything about this right now. I guess I could just attack it until Urshifu is dead. Not my worst plan. Maybe he's crazy and goes Hydreigon. No, he just leaves it in. Double Leech Seed. You wouldn't sack it. So this is my chance to hit somebody. Probably the Azu. So I'm going to U-turn on it because I don't want to lose my mind just yet. And I want to say, now that I know a bit more about his team. And I have rocks up. Magirna isn't a bad play here. Yeah, we're gonna use Magirna now and try to make play. I think he would go... I can't click Fleur Cannon because if he goes Corviknight, he gets to the Defog. If he goes Marowak, I can still go Hippo, but he might double. Okay, he just leaves it in, so that's really good. 
Um, now he's gonna go Marowak. It's not Boots. And it has the wrong HP stat. It should definitely be... Wait a minute, do I just knock this out? I'm modest, and I'm Magirna. Like, let's let's take a step back here and check. Marowak, Alola... I don't kill if it's max HP. You guys think he's that bulky? I feel like it's not worth risking at all. Like, I could kill right here at plus one, but if I lose my Magirna, then I'm pretty sure that's... Not game necessarily, but it's pretty bad. If he's will but this could be a bit more annoying, but basically next time it comes in, it's guaranteed in range of my Magirna. That's what I'm going to go for here. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I hope the fact that he got up Arox means he's committing to them being up on his side. I don't even- oh yeah, I don't have an item, so it fails. That's how that move works. And I only know that because I saw Blunder mess it up like three times in one video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring out... No, Talonflame is not the play yet because Sand is still up. I think the play is to sack or Shifu. Actually, it's not a... well, it would be a sack actually because of the... Alright, we're going to do this a bit. Just keep them low using Earthquake. Okay, well, I'm just going to get them back up. Actually, no, let's spam Earthquake. I heard him there. So he's gonna roost up. He would defog here, but now that the thing is gone, I'm gonna go Talonflame, SD up, and I think just win. Is he Scarf Hydreigon? He went right into it. I don't know if he is or not, but I'm gonna commit to Talonflame. He is. Oh wait, but I lived on one and knocked him out. Okay, that's really good. So now I can maybe endgame with Scarf Dragapult healthy as Corviknight. That healthy? I don't think that's healthy enough. Um, Urshifu is very free right now, but I don't want him going hip Magnezone, so we're gonna go Hippo here. Or, I mean, he could go Tang too. I feel like Dragapult is just a good play first, and see what he wants to do about it. Like, if he goes Tang Earth, they get to throw off a Fire Blast. 2 would KO the Corviknight, potentially, and win the game from there. I don't know, I don't want to throw this. He goes Zone, yeah, this is great. I'm just gonna Fire Blast. And test my luck. Like, if I hit zone, then I put him in range of Magirna, and I can't do that, it seems. Uh, we'll try again here. I really need to hit this and put him in range of Mag to win. That's definitely Specs, and I missed two in a row. Great. Uh, now I'm actually at a risk of losing because of that. That's lovely. Let me double check his item. Dude, that's actually so frustrating. Like, I hit either of those, Magirna wins the game right there, and I couldn't hit either. Now I think I have to hit a Focus Blast to maybe win. Oh, he's Specs, right? I don't want to make sure that he... Like, if he's Scarf, I can't really make a different play here. So, Magnezone. No, that is Specs, yeah, so... I guess the play is... Dude, that's so frustrating, like... We're gonna go to this. Yeah, he's gonna sack that off, then I bring you in. I just have to hit Focus Blast, and I win. That's really it. And I did, okay, good. <laughs> Dude, I would have been really annoyed if I, if I actually lost to that. Just like, that would have been so frustrating. If a double fire blast missed, just didn't put... Maybe I could have clicked Shadow Ball, but I'll be right back. So we go from a Lolan Marowak to a Lolan Marowak and a Chansey. I guess Magirna is not winning this one, but... You know what can? SD Talon Flame, if I can weaken the Seismitoad using Drill. Let's lead off with you. Is this the rocker? Is this why you let off with it? Or do you just want to try to toxic somebody immediately? I honestly don't know what's up, but I think the best play is to go Magirna. It is the rocker, huh? Okay. Get this in. He goes for Thunder Wave and... Go for Rabbit Spin, I guess. I don't know. Like, he could go Toad here. That's what I would do. He goes to Tang. It is Helmet, okay. And... I guess this is putting somebody to sleep. Goodbye, Magirna. Yeah, Magirna, I'm sorry. You're not doing anything this time around. Like, that's just how it is. And we'll go Dragapult on the Leech Seed. U-turn here. He's letting him keep this kind of low, though, which is good. Like, I, I'll take that. I can get up rocks here, I think, and weaken him using those. He's going to recover and then get in Mandibuzz. Haunts me there. 
He actually did want to defog, okay. And then he stayed in and died. <laughs> I don't get why, but I'll take it. Like, now I can spam Earthquake, kinda. I mean, he still has a Tangrowth, though, let's be honest. Is Earthquake really doing anything here? Did he just bank on me getting, like, multiple sleep turns? What does that play? That hurts, but I can take it. And I will just heal. I don't want to lose my hippo. Like, if you crit me, you crit me, but... I don't really want to... throw my hippo out on out the window for no reason. Maybe you're gonna go back to bed. Leechseed. Dude, why is Tangrowth back? Nobody asked for this. Actually, a lot of people did. I don't actually mind Tangrowth. Tangrowth is interesting, like... It's annoying for Keldia, which I love using. That's the one thing that I hate about it, but... We got Rillaboom. That's pretty bad. I think I can win with her Shifu, though. Like, that dark move that I have, Wicked Blow, is so good against him. So I think what I do here is just, like, sack off Mag. Because he goes for U-turn, so I guess we're sacking nothing. He's gonna go to Marowak, maybe? Like... Yeah, but it's taking damage now, which is what I need. And he's still not taking... He's still not doing enough with those Flare Blitzes. Unfortunately, I can't really Earthquake right now because of Terrain. So he gets in Toad this time, so he finally opts to make a different play. Just gonna keep on throwing this out, like I don't need it. He knocked me off with Mandibuzz earlier, right? No, who knocked me? I didn't lose an item right there. Did Tang knock me? I guess it was Tang. Okay, I got blown back there. But, I think if I go Dragapult, click Draco, put him low, then click a U-turn. Keep this around just in case I can endgame with it. Go to this. Resto Chesto, huh? Why is this actually working for him? Like, I don't like it. Okay, I need this damage, so that way my Rishifu can actually do something here. That's the goal. Like, if he hits me, he hits me, right? Like... He opts to rest again. Should I double out? I feel like I have to go for Talonflame sometime soon, and I think that sometime soon is right now. Yeah, so let's do this. Oh, and he has Sleep Powder, right? Okay, let's rethink. Go to bed, Hippo. Why did this come in? So I killed Toad. I really want to win this one. This team is so annoying. Like, these four fat mons with the grassy terrain is just like the most frustrating thing to play against. Obviously, Mandibuzz doesn't even get the recovery, but... Yeah, I'll give him that there. Bring this in. And I think I can just start clicking Wicked Blow here and doing work. Yeah, that's not a switching, dude. I'm sorry. You should have sacked something then brought this in, but... Uh, you decided not to do that. I don't know if I take Grassy Glide. Probably don't, let's be honest. Do you bring back Tangrowth now? Do you even come back in at a healthy amount? Okay, I'm just gonna stay in here. Oh, he's Scarf. Yeah, that's not priority, so I just go Talonflame and win, I think. Does this even take enough, dude? I'm messing again. And then I have to hit Brave Bird. And I win. Yeah, because now, I mean, I still have to hit against the other two. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have my Gellings anymore. <laughs> I completely forgot that's how this game works. So I guess I have to hit Fire Blasts? Question mark? Or... No, 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 no. No, no, no. There's a better way to do this. Okay, maybe there isn't a better way to do this. I flinched that there, though, so I think that might be game. Basically, I was trying to get it to where I could sweep with Shadow Ball. I think Riddleboom would die. I needed damage on Tang, though. But anyway, I killed that there. He's gonna be able to knock me out. And then I think... I'll, I'll call Shadow Ball and see what's up. Oh, he went for Earthquake under terrain. Yeah, he had to click a wood hammer. Um, I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. My opponent has original Magirna, and we have another Alolan Marowak. I guess people are really spamming that mon just for Magirna, huh? I don't know if there's another Pokemon that it's supposed to check, but... 
It's really only my Magirna, I can give it that. What type is their Shifu? It is the dark one, okay. So, my own Shifu is good right here. Toxapex is annoying though. We're leading off with the Dragapult. And we're going Hippo because I cannot take a Sucker Punch with my Dragapult. And I think that's what he's going to go for, yeah. Okay, well, let's go for Rocks and then... We get in... Maybe my Shifu here. Yeah, because he defogs, I get to throw off a Wicked Blow now. Just over half. Oh, but he did over half too. That's really bad. I didn't think this thing would actually have a good way to hit me, and it did. <laughs> okay. U-turns, and then he's going to try to roost this up, right? Oh, and he can roost it up because he's really fizz deaf. Okay, uh, plan B. Let's get this in and start to pressure with it. Went right into Marowak, no hesitating. If Houdon can come in, Poltergeist hurts, I can slack off. Yeah, how about not? Maybe? Pex. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, Pex plus Corviknight is such an issue. I think I can break it. I just have to somehow get a Dragapult. The fact that I have damage on Kung Fu Panda is really good, though. Let's go to this on Toxic. I'm just gonna Flare Cannon this time. Actually, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Yeah, because now I can force the Flare Cannon damage into Marowak, which is what I should have done last time, but didn't. And wow, that did a ton. Jeez. Okay, well, we found our opening. <laughs> it is the Magirna. Got up rocks. Same sort of deal. Phase out. I get Marowak again. I'm really happy that I'm getting Marowak, because any damage that I get on this is good for me. Okay, but now Sand is gone, which is a bit worse. Okay, uh, let's do this. SD up, maybe. It's shown toxic. I'm going to use this as another opportunity to get this, and that's really bad, because I, I needed it to not be burned. Thankfully, I still have leftovers, which is, like, really nice. Like, he's not netting anything here. In fact, what if I just shift here? Like, what happens? Are you a salt vest? He isn't. He's calm mind. Okay, I want to keep this at this percentage, then. I don't want to take any more damage here. I'm going to risk drill. And, um, you want to be that guy who trusted Focus Blast? Yes, Stored Power, okay. Focus Blast is horrible. Don't run that move, even though I have it on, I think, one of my Pokemon, right? Yeah. Uh, let's not talk about that, though. Have I had to use it today? I don't think I've clicked at any time, right? Yeah, I don't think I've actually used the move. Um, I go Hippo. Take Wicked Blow Crit. Wow, he crit me. He's taxing me. That's, that move never crits all the time or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just going to spam this, if you don't mind. And you get that back in. And we're back to this. Okay, um, cool. This sure is a gameplay. Let's go to this guy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna plus four Brave Bird somebody. I'm getting kind of bored here. Like, I do 91. Dude, if I had Roost, this would be, like, so good. Oh, he didn't even... He was willing to give it to me, and I didn't take it. That's a shame. Okay, that's good, though, because now when I shift gear again, I think I actually just straight up win. And uh, he still doesn't beat my Hippo with this. Like, I don't know what he's trying to do with this Mon, but it's not beating my Hippo. And now, the, basically, the goal is to shift you up with Magirna, and I think it's my game. Your turn's a bit annoying, but I'm still getting leftovers back. Okay, yeah, let's, let's try this. Like, I don't see another chance, right? This is This is the chance right here. What are you doing to me? I crit para him, but I outsped and 2 it KO'd him anyway. Like, you see, without the crit, I would still do over 50. So with that game right there, this this will die. And we actually get the Magirna sweep. Okay, cool. <laughs> I will be right back. So I have another game right here. My opponent has a Bisharp, but my Shifu can revenge that. I definitely think that Magirna can win because... 
let's be honest, he doesn't really have a resist, but I have to keep it healthy just in case I get revenged by like Sash Zam or Sucker Punch Bisharp. Maybe even Sucker Punch from his or Shifu. He would lead off with Hippo or Zam here, I feel. Those two make a lot of sense, but Urshifu makes some sense too. Either way, I think I like Dragapult. Tang was not what I was expecting, if I'm being honest, but... I think a knockoff is good for here and for him. I don't know if I want to Fire Blast. I think I'll U-turn to see whether he's Helmet. He is Helmet, okay. And we will let... Talonflame get put to sleep. I guess it's not getting put to sleep, never mind. That's actually really nice for me. Let's go for Brave Bird. <laughs> As he goes for sleep powder and misses it again. Yikes. This man's luck. What is that? That Tangro needs eyes. Like, hello? It's up rock. I basically get a kill here, right? Like, he can't stop me from brave burning somebody. Although I'll flur blitz because it also hits Bisharp and I don't want him pivoting to that guy. Hits Mandibuzz just as hard. Yeah, so I get like way too much out of that Talon Flame because I dodged a couple times. I feel kind of bad about it, but at the same time, we take those, and... I suppose at 45 and it's Helmet. This is definitely the play here, and... Without question, I think I click CC. Knock that out. He might go Zam here to try to Focus Blast me. This wasn't really much of a risk, because I'm still healthy enough to take the hit from Bisharp. Mandibus being dead doesn't really help Magirna, though. He goes out into his or Shifu. Okay, I'm just gonna go Hippo, I think. I could sack this and then use Hippo to beat his Bisharp. That's not the worst game plan, but I feel like it's not worth it to sack that. Wait, he's the water one? I could've... Okay, I have to be more careful. I thought this just meant... I thought it would say Rapid Strike here if he was the water one, but I guess it actually doesn't. Okay. That's really bad. I actually thought it said it. Well... Um, let's do this, dude. <laughs> Uh, speed tie time. Okay, he wants to get me in range then. I think I might have lost the Bisharp already, just because of all that. Like, ah, that sucks, dude. I really thought that it would actually tell me that he was a rapid strike on that menu, but I guess it doesn't. Alright, well, I can CC there. I'm going to lose my Shivu's health. Basically, I have to either win this tie if it is a tie. If he's Scarf, I think it's over. Okay, well, he wasn't Scarf. Is he Jolly or Adamant, though? I'm gonna go Dragapult. I think U-turn here in case he tries to get in Bishard, but he should go Hippo, right? Okay, I think I see how I win. Wait, he does go Bishard. Okay. Well, that gives me the Earthquake that I want. I won't die to Sucker. He doesn't even go for Sucker. Okay, he's, he's throwing this right now. Like, straight up. Um, I sack this, get back in Dragapult and Shadow Ball through, right? This one doesn't get Sucker, I don't think. Even if he goes Hippo and lives, I think my Magirna can beat it. Maybe. I don't know. That could be interesting. Although, I don't know if it lives Modest. I feel like there's no way it lives Modest. Dude, come on. So we might have to dodge Flare Cannon with Hippo to win. And this is all assuming that the Zam is Sash, right? Because... Okay, he sacks the Hippo to get in Zam. Oh wait, it did live. Okay, well that was interesting. I think if I shift gear though, I still outspeed that thing and I can win the game. So he would have to have Taunt on Zam to prevent my Magirna from setting up and winning here. I don't think it's worth switching this out and trying to win like that. I think I just Shadow Ball and try to shift gear it in front of it. Okay, well, I really don't know why I didn't Sucker Punch though. That was weird. Oh man, Jet's not gonna kill me? Okay. Uh, we're a really bad game if I'm being honest. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. We have more Alolan Marowak and the Urshifu is dark. Okay. So I think the play here is to end game with Talon after getting damage on Rotom, which I can force using Drill. I think Dragapult is a relatively good early game. If he opts for this, I might have to actually use Drill right now, but if he goes for Flamethrower, it's worse. I could also go Hippo right here. As he goes for Air Slash, he's Leftovers, okay. I'm gonna call him not to go for Flamethrower. Okay, this worked out, because now he's gonna go Rotom, right? And I get the damage for Talon Flame. I even get a crit, which is nice. Like, any damage on Rotom is good for Talon, so definitely lucky. 
Um, yeah, we're making the Dragapult play here. Good Volt. I could have Iron Headed again calling it, but I don't really think that's worth it for the reward that I'm getting out of it, right? Like, another 17 or like even 11, I think it would have been on Rotom. Would be nice, but... At the end of the day, right here, I can get in Hippo, get up rocks, I think. This can't knock me out. Okay, so we both want hazards. Interesting. Gets in Rotom. Okay, this is really good. Anytime Rotom comes in, I'm happy because Talent Land is my only way to win right here, the way I see it. And the fact that I'm getting chip on this right here is really good for me. So he tries to predict again. I get this, though, which isn't really very good. I'm assuming he has a fire move, though. That's the thing. I'm just going to Whirlwind here. We get Rotom again. This is so nice. Like, eventually he's going to be in range of plus two Talon Flame. I don't know if he already is. In fact, if I'm going for that win con, I should calc it. Okay, if he's just max HP, he would be. I don't think he's just max HP, though. Wicked. So, Fizdef would take 38 min. He's going to be at that much after okay he keeps on going for revolt he's like he's getting me that time this time if he goes bisharp no he goes cinderace this time and it's boots goes for u-turn okay that's fine i'm assuming that has sucker punch he keeps on going rotom i don't want this pain splitting anymore so we're gonna get this in now that rotom's low i think my talon flame does have the opening here and I even get rid of it on the double down, so now Bisharp can't set up on me. I think th if there was a position, this is the one. Like, this is such a good position for me. Bisharp can't take Earthquake. Do I predict Togekiss? Stop it, Sucker. Okay, good. And now I think Cinderace should go for Sucker Punch, right? Yeah, okay, so we finally get to see what that's all about. I should have slacked off there. That wasn't my bad. Yeah, because he's definitely going Togekiss. Oh wait, he didn't go for the Roost. Do you not have Roost? Or are you like Mono Air Slash? So that's dead on entry now. I'm going to let this knock me out and then get in mine, I think. Knock out that, and I think I win with Talonflame no matter what, basically. I don't know, I don't want to get overconfident, but doesn't my Drill kind of win too? Alright, we're going to suck the Magirna off. If he actually opts to U-turn, gets in Cinderace, right? He's going out into the slower Mon, which makes no sense. Like, what? I get this back in here, click Earthquake. Knock this out. I don't want to throw, but I think I I think I have a guaranteed W. I don't want to get overconfident. If I jump, it kills me. That's bad. I didn't even think about that. U-turn, Sucker Punch, Pyro Ball. Is he Court Change or High Jump Kick? I could win the game right here if he doesn't have High Jump Kick and I go out into a Shifu and click Close Combat. What do you guys think is the best thing to do? Because if he doesn't have a way to knock me out right here, I either kill Cinderace and Brave Bird the Urshifu, or he U-turns out into the Urshifu, then brings this back in. In which case, I think I can... No, I see what I see the thing to do right here. I think I Sucker Punch. And there we go, that's all I needed, because now I can spam Brave Bird and win. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I can Brave Bird here and wrap it up. I knock that out. I don't think Urshifu, unless it's Scarf. Was it Scarf? I don't have Gale Wings anymore. Yeah, that's not going to kill. And I think I knocked him out, right? Okay, really scary endgame. But luckily, I don't know why he went and him so many times. But that's going to be that. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.